Hello, my alpha members and Twitch watchers to Caravan Kanuji. The first visual novel I have ever played in my life. Also, yes, this song is part of the game, by the way. It's called... Well... Take My Heart. Also, nice that the developer also added the lyrics if you if you want if you want to sing with it because just so you know also it's it's an originalism so it's it's nice but yeah um yeah this is the first visual novel i have ever played or as far as i can remember i don't think i've actually played any other visual novel before that so it's dead and well, this means also it's before the DLC, just also. But also, a few things I have to s well, warn you beforehand. Because, oh boy! <laughs> According to the developer, it's a bit, um. Yeah. It doesn't only contain some sexual themes. I also. Yeah, yeah, also other things like, um. According to the Steam page, by the way. There will be some little bit of blood, some alcohol use, and some mild language. Meaning that, of course, this means that I will just censor it a little bit. But that's all. For further ado, let's start a completely new... Weapon. I am Roman. Yes, only a room. Some of the ninth year of the of Heisei era, 1997. I also forgot one tiny thing to forgot to tell. Um, according to the to a review on Steam to this game, it has some very problematic um, LGBTQIA LGBTQIA plus things that are uh, well, it's very problematic. <clears throat> Popular, don't know. So yeah. Also, if you want to read the. the review of it yourself it's on steam it's probably the highest negative review of this game so yeah it is yeah it is dead so without further ado let's go back to 1997 life has a way of changing also just self-voicing enabled Life has a way of changing, often drastically without any warnings whatsoever. Self-voicing disabled. Yeah, I will, I, will, I will not do this just in case because mm, I don't know why, but it sounded pretty Britain. Even though I, is this the voice that I did? Is it the Britain voice pack? Because I downloaded the voice, the official Microsoft voice packs because mm, mm. so yeah. At first, a day may seem like any other, but by tomorrow it can all change. From where you live to where to who you are as a person. Oh Jesus. Recently I've experienced this, experienced such a large change. My dad wanted to start his own grocery shop, so my parents and I moved to a small village vill village near Osaka. I thought I would have a hard time readjusting to move from Tokyo to a small lost village far from a big city with shops and fast food restaurants. Being an 80 year, 18 year old student, it would be difficult. It was, I was used to the excitement of a big city. Okay, so with other words, we are 18. So with other words, all of the other characters are also 18, hopefully. However, even before my first day of school, my life would change. Chapter 1, where everything started. It's Sunday evening, after dinner. Ah, yes. Typ typical weep room. Even with a... Is this a ducky? I mean, it, it kind of looks like a ducky, but it's more like a normal pillow. I, maybe th there's the ducky, probably. My stuff is all unpacked and placed in my new room. I love this new look. Hmm. I mean, kind of a... 
angled roof. Okay. Also, how how did you get that, this up there? <laughs> it sure is smaller than my previous bedroom, but it's not like I needed that much space. Oh well, I mean it it looks like a nice 1997 weep room. You know, some look like. Hey, they are actually from the 2000s. As long as I have room to sleep, play games, watch anime, and geek out, it's all good. I'm not sure what I should do before going to bed. I could study a bit, so I don't look too dumb at school tomorrow. But I also want to rest and have a bit of fun. What should I do? Let's watch some anime VHS, let's study with some online games. Okay. As always, I'm gonna save at every at every <laughs> decision. Um, hmm. Play some games, study, or watch some anime. Rewatch some anime. Um, what would I do? I decided to watch anime. Some old episodes of the anime based on my favorite manga. High School Samurai. Hmm. It's the story about a guy who lived in the mountains, learning the ways of Bushido. Bushido? Hmm. I don't know if I pronounce good. Then, all of a sudden, he must go to a new town to learn about life in the city. He resolves a lot of his problems with his samurai skills and his heroic determination. I don't know how long I stayed up, but I was so tired and ended up falling asleep. Oh, Jesus, this looks terrifying. I switched off the alarm clock and went back to sleep again. Oh, no. I'm so tired. Come man, wake up. You'll be late for school. And yes, no voice acting again. Because, no. Huh? What time is it? Wait. 8, 2 a.m.? School starts at 8, 30. 30. Dang it. I watch too much anime. I'm low. I'm late. That's not me. <laughs> I jumped out of bed, put on my brand new school uniform, and ran down the stairs. I ate my breakfast faster than usual. I took a map of a route, route to school and left after saying goodbye to my parents. I followed the map and dashed through the streets. This town looks pretty unique. Yeah. A strange town, like a mix between a suburb and a rural village. Some had just arrived. The cicadas were crying. Yigurashi says, Hi! And it sure was hot out here. I noticed only a few people on the streets. Some of them were kind enough to help me find my way to the school. Then, as I was nearing an intersection, I see a girl in a school uniform. Well, since village only has one school, that must be where she's heading. And if that is where she's going, maybe she could help me out. I approached her carefully, as I didn't want to scare her. She looked beautiful, long black hair, thin body, and beautiful legs. Okay, my, my mind has taste. The fact that this, again, this happened before the DLC. I was not into fights back then. <laughs> so, hmm. It's also funny to say, I, I like fights because of the DLC. Hmm. I mean, Monica's. I mean, anybody would get into fights just by looking at Monica's. Or somebody else. <laughs> I hesitated for a moment before saying anything. <clears throat> Uh, excuse me, miss? She turned around to face me. Hmm? Yeah, she looking cute. Oh, wow, she was insanely pretty. Her eyes were blue. A wonderful deep ocean blue. They were like the clear wa waters you find in Hawaii. She looked at me, confused and a bit timid. Don't you even dare, Brain, or editing me? Who puts fishing urine here? 
You were saying me, huh? You were saying I did it because I actually had to fart before it, but now you made me. So, ha, fish ya. Yes. Wow, her voice sounds so adorable. She's so cute. That was at a loss for words. Um, I'm new in the village and I'm trying to find my school. And since you're wearing a uniform, I thought you could... The girl stared at me with her big, majestic blue eyes. <laughs> Should I make the joke here? Because... Male writer describes a woman. In the most... Too much... I have no idea how women work... Way possible. Finally, she smiled. Of course I can. Hmm? I'm going there right now. You can follow me. So wait for a, se for a second, my brain thought of, of riding me. I mean, she kind of looks like riding me, so... Hmm? That would be great. Thank you. When ended up... <laughs> we ended up walking to school together. Darn. Looked like... Looks like it's my lucky day. I'm walking to school with a beautiful girl on the first day. You said you're new here in town, right? Huh? I had been daydreaming, so I didn't notice that she was talking to me. She started to blush. Okay! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to surprise you. She's just so adorable. I smiled to myself. You're not. Actually, I just arrived last Friday. Mm, that's pretty early. My family just moved here from Tokyo. You're from Tokyo? My gosh, she's really, really slim. <clears throat> it seems like a wonderful city. I wish I could visit it someday. I bet I noticed there are a few distractions here than in Tokyo. Hmm? It's true, the village is kinda quiet, so there's usually nothing to do. When we want to enjoy ourselves, we usually go to the nearest city. It's only a short train ride away, so it's okay. There's a train that takes you to the city nearby? I hope there's a lot of stuff to do there. There is, don't worry. There are, there are fast food restaurants, shops, arcades. Oh, okay, we are already back into business again. You like arcade games? Very much so. I'm especially a fan of music and rhythm games, but I enjoy shooting games too. Oh, my girl has class. Shooting games? Wow. I couldn't imagine such a cute and timid girl shooting zombies or soldiers in an arcade game. Hmm. The fact that I... Out of fury for a second before the. Ahem! Could you imagine though? Yuri from DDLC, just a timid, shy girl. Then, arcade game. Suddenly, shooter game. And she just is literally the. It's literally on top of the leaderboard. By the way, what grade are you in? I'm in the second section. Oh, uh, second section? You see, our school is the, tom is the only school in the city. <laughs> 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 that was my brain having a little stroke there. <laughs> you see, our school is the only school in the village. There are students from of many different ages and grades at our school, but there's an unbalanced amount of students for the usual grade system. So they made different classes, called sections, consisting of 25 students each, which are made up of students from different ages and grades. That sounds fun. I wonder where I'll be assigned to. Well, there are only five sections, so I have a one in five chance of being in the same section as you. I chuckled a bit and she giggled, a little embarrassed. My name is Sakura, and yours? Name's Roman. Roman. Nice to meet you, Roman son. We keep it with the Roman. 
pleased to meet you as well, Sakura. Sakura? She gave me a sweet smile. Gosh, if her smile could kill, I think I'd be dead right now. Okay, we have some difference here, my boy. <laughs> like... Okay, she cute. But... Hmm? Deep down, I really hope to be in the same class as her. I wanted to see her again and learn more about her. Heart emojis. Okay, my boy. I can't believe it. I've been assigned to the second section. Yippee! I'm so happy! <laughs> However, I wonder if it's a good section. I wouldn't like to be in a classroom full of jerks or something. If that's the case, I'll just hop out. I just hope I'll be near Sakura. Bump. While I was dating again, I bumped into someone. It was a girl with thick pigtails. Ah. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Hey you, watch your where watch where you're going. <laughs> Why does this sound, sound so familiar? Next to I have played this game. Like I have heard this in an anime or something. Sorry, it was my fault. Wait, you're near here, aren't you? <laughs> well, whatever. I'll see you later. And there was the soon. She ran down the hall, probably heading to her classroom. Yep. And yes, we have a tune here. I don't know if there's a um, under here. That girl was kind of rude, but rather pretty look. <coughs> okay, my boy. She reminds me of the main female character of the anime, Tomonko-chan, because of her hair. And from what I could tell, her personality matched as well. Let's hope she doesn't have a bat. Because if you think of the same character that I'm currently thinking with the same kind of name, then, um... Or, I don't know how to say Here it is, second section's classroom. Some of the students were already here. Sakura was right. There were There are students of all ages here. The youngest looked around eight years old and the oldest about 18 oh. I saw Sakura sitting by the window oh normal typical she smiled as soon as she saw me ah Roman over here there's a desk available here of course right next to the May to maybe the, the first main, main, main female protagonist or something someone else <laughs> she wanted the empty desk behind her but next week Maybe it was also just a joke, hmm? How lucky, a desk near her. Mm -hmm. Right behind her, so when she goes up, and suddenly, oops! Ahem! <coughs> this really is my lucky day. Ah, yes. We are just the silhouette. We are just... Darkness. Reincarnated. I'm so excited we're in the same section. So am I. Our classmates really are made of of different ages. Just like I told you. Actually, this whole town seems pretty special. I mean, the school system, the way the streets are, the kind-hearted town folk. Currently, you have only met one of the kind-hearted town folk. The other one as well. Do you like it? So far? Yeah, I think I do like it. I hope you enjoy our, your time here, Roman. Thank you, Sakura. Senpai. So, what are we learning in class today? Math. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Looks like my luck couldn't last all day. You don't like math? Well, I'm not very good at it. I'm pretty good with math. I can help you if you want. That sounds perfect. Thanks a lot, Sakura. <laughs> You're welcome. That started without anything noteworthy happening. Math ended up being pretty easy. It was planned for every level, probably because of all the different ages in class. Yes, we don't do when we don't do college grade math. Well, there are eight years old year olds in this class who just go, "Excuse me, teacher, what the fish am I learning?" Or 
no, probably what the what the frick actually the lessons felt like they were going on for a while though the school bell rang to announce the end of classes i was surprised by the noise it looked more like a bell for firemen this is really not the urban school Sakura and I decided to take and eat our lunches together in the classroom, as well as some other classmates. During lunch, I asked Sakura if there were clubs here, like in normal schools. Place no literature club! This is the only thing that I told them. <laughs> I mean, it could be that. But, 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 but. Currently, every time something happens in the literature club, it's not very good. I see only DDLC. Or this anime Chaos Head or Chaos Head, I don't know. Where there was also a literature club where the head of the literature club had did stuff and it was just dumb. If you watch that, those two animes, then you know what I'm. And I watched them and I hated it. I hated it. Yes, for example, I'm in the manga club. Oh, thank God. I like it a lot. Plus, the leader of the club is a cosplay. Ooh. Oh, hello. A manga club? Awesome! I love manga. You do? That's great. I don't mind. I mean, I like manga too. I haven't read one for a while. <clears throat> You're more than welcome if you want to join us, Roman. That would be awesome. I just hope the club leader will let me join. I'm sure she will. We're always looking for new members, especially right now. Oh, don't. Don't say this. She? Yep. You know, a lot of girls enjoy anime and manga. Huh. Yeah, I know. Actually, I have an older sister who loved shoujo anime and manga when we were younger. Ooh. But that was a long time ago. She's married now and is living in Tokyo with her husband. Hey, 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 hey. Doesn't matter if old or young, anime can be anime and manga can be enjoyed by every age. That's why there is kids anime and there's uh, adult anime, and I mean not the the one where where you have to stick in the holes, or the holes and the tentacles, or the holes and the horses and the ho hole and the holes and the there there's a lot of the holes. I mean, there's also a lot of with the snakes too. You have, you have to think, to think about it. There's also sometimes the mix of both. Where someone has a hole and this dick, and then there are the tentacles, or other sticks, or other holes. And yeah, I mean, I don't mean dolls. I mean like, let's say elfin lead. Whenever somebody says anime. And or manga, let's say anime, it's for kids. I recommend them Elfen Lead or Berserk. And when they just, when they have started watching it, they probably go to me and just uh, Roman, what the fish did you recommend me? And I will just go, hm. Yo, you said anime is for kids, huh? Well, isn't this a wonderful, beautiful looking kids show? No, there, there's blood. People will just die and ah. Hey, anime is, anime is are for kids. So this means this is a kid show. If you, if you don't agree with it, then, well, your argument is invalid. Okay. <laughs> uh, I wonder how she's doing. I should email her when I get back home. How many members are in the club? Actually, we only have three members right now. Please don't tell me we're in, in, in DDLC. In DDLC 1997 edition Act 2. <laughs> Which would be a, a, a interesting, but mm, three? That's all? Yeah, three girls. It's rather hard to find new members, considering the only manga shop around this in the city. So, we have three girls. Usually, the people that join aren't too invested to get the new manga to read, so they end up leaving the club. Where are they? 
Also, technically, a manga cup is a digital cup. Fish! I mean, actually, manga is a digital, so. Fish! I see. Holy crap, turning a manga cup with only three girls? Hmm. Check that. Seems like my luck is black. I feel like the hero of a harm anime or a fish. <laughs> anime, harem anime, of course, but visual of a boy. Boy. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs>